December is the month of Christmas and if you're planning to buy a new smartphone this month, here are some that you might want to check out. Hi again, my name is Sid and in this quick video I tell you phones that are expected to launch in India in December so that you can tell Santa to put them in your sock. After much tease and some delays, Lenovo K6 Power finally made its way to India. The phone has been launched now and it comes with a 5-inch Full HD display along with a Snapdragon 430 CPU. While the power of this phone is in its 4000 mAh of battery, some people would also appreciate the Dolby Atmos sound enhancements given on this one. But I really hope that the cameras on this phone are better because if they are better than the Redmi 3S, there is some stir going on in the compact smartphone section. And here are some more specs for you to check them out. Up next is a very powerful phone. It is the Nubia Z11. It comes with a Snapdragon 820 processor and Android Marshmallow on board. Moreover, the phone has 64 GB of internal storage and 6 GB of RAM, which means the OnePlus 3 and now the OnePlus 3T have some competition coming. Uh, the phone also has 16 megapixel of rear camera and 8 megapixel of front camera. And the phone is very attractive with its minimal bezels. Now, for those who love Android, Moto M surely looks lovely. The phone runs Android in its purest form, the similar experience that a Nexus would give you. A Nexus, not a Pixel because the phone does not run on Android Nova yet. It has the same processor as the Moto G4 Plus along with 4GB of RAM. Uh, however, it's the first Moto phone to have a metal unibody design. I've already done a video on its uh, review of specifications and opinions, be sure to check them out later. But for here and now, take a look at the specs of this phone. The next phone is possibly HTC's comeback attempt. The HTC 10 EVO looks very promising on paper with its 5.5 inch Quad HD display, its 3 GB of RAM and even though it has a comparatively older Snapdragon 810 CPU, in terms of software it packs in the latest Android Noga. And even though I feel the phone is a bit pricey for my liking, there is more to know about it and all of that is now on your screen. And finally we have not one but two smartphones from Coolpad. There is the Coolpad Note 3S which packs in a Snapdragon 415 CPU, a 5.5 inch HD display and a 30 megapixel rear camera at a price tag of under 10,000 rupees. And then there is also the Coolpad Mega 3 with the same display, a MediaTek CPU and a price tag of 7,000 rupees. If you wish to know more about these smartphones, it is right on your screen. Now those are some smartphones that you might want to wait for in the month of December. If you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button, do drop me a comment below, do give this video a thumbs up and do share it with your friends. My name is Sid, do come back for more.